Hello, and welcome to Pizzatopia and more, where we make a lot of pizza and more. In today's video, we're going to make a white garlicky pizza sauce, kind of like an Alfredo type sauce. Here are the ingredients I'll be using today. We have 320 milliliters of milk, or half and half cream, or whipping cream, whichever you prefer. Today, I have half and half cream because I don't have any milk or any whipping cream. I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt, I'm using pink Himalayan, and half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Have here two tablespoons of bacon fat. If you don't have bacon fat or don't want to use bacon fat, use two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And here I have two cloves of garlic that I'm going to mince up. And I'm going to use 35 grams of Grana Padano cheese. Grana Padano. If you don't want to use Grana Padano, use Parmesan. So we're going to grate that up and uh, get over to the stove and let's make up this uh, white sauce. Alright. Alrighty. Over a medium heat. Let's take your two tablespoons of bacon fat or butter if you're using and get her in there. Perfect. It'll melt up real good. And our two cloves of garlic that we have minced up. Perfect. Do that for about a minute. Get that garlic uh, to release some of that flavor into that bacon fat. You don't want to go too long. You don't want to get her all brown. Perfect. That's good enough. Let's get our flour in there and start whisking that up. Two tablespoons of flour. Whisk that up. Let that go for about a minute. And then we'll start to slowly put in our milk or cream, whichever you have. Perfect. That's good enough. Our milk or cream, whichever you have. And whisk her up. Perfect. Once you have all the uh, liquid added in, you just whisk that for probably anywhere between five and eight minutes until you come up to the desired thickness that you want. Good enough. And we can add our Quarter teaspoon, of, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of white pepper, and half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And whisk that until you get the consistency that you like. We'll be back in a few minutes to add our Grana Padano cheese. We've been whisking here for about seven minutes and uh, I'm really starting to like the consistency of this. It's starting to thicken up really nicely. That's 
that's great. Shut that heat off. There's our Grano Godano cheese. Let's just dump it all in. Empty. Let that melt right in there. Beautiful. Right on. We're going to put this into a jar and let it cool off. And once it's cooled off, it's ready to use. That's beautiful. Let's see if I can put this into a jar without making a mess. See what we got going on here. Nice. There you have it. White pizza sauce. Or Alfredo sauce for pasta. Nice. Okay, I have my spatula here and I'll uh, empty this and rest of this out. I'm back in a second. Alrighty, our sauce is cooling down nicely. It's nice and thick. Put it in the fridge. This will last uh, for about five, seven days. Don't use it after that. Throw it away. Make a new batch. Uh, I didn't taste it as I was uh, making it because I know what it's going to taste like. I've made this a lot of times. It's nice and thick. Before you use it, if you want to uh, give it a zap for a few seconds in the nuker to thin it down, go ahead. You don't have to. But here you go. I'll taste that. Mmm. That's perfect. Mmm. Creamy. Garlicky. Herby. Wonderful. Alrighty. I need this sauce for a uh, pizza video that I'm going to shoot later on this afternoon. I feel like boiling up some pasta and just throwing that right on there. Might have to make another one. Woohoo! Alright, there you go. Until the next video, have a wonderful day.